I've been trying to paint a few pieces this today and um, it's just not been my day. So yes, we all have those days. Admittedly, I've been experimenting with a few things, but um, my experiments haven't worked to plan today. So, um, take 56. I'm just gonna <laughs> go try again. Um, I'm going to do a swipe with the boom gel, the boom gel stain. Now this boom gel stain is available in Australia. Now I've got the paint all over the bottom of my, oh, the boom gel. So what it is, it, it was a paint that was uh, bought about by Cass and Brett, I believe to create a bloom effect but in an all-in-one paint so it's a you know you're not to don't have to add anything to it so i'm using this today for because you know i love swiping and i did a lovely swipe and tilt oh, a couple of weeks ago now um and i resin coated it so I did that one. Um, so I'm going to, that was a, quite a few weeks ago now. So I thought, oh, we'll have another go at it and see I can improve. So that's what I'm, I'm going to do today. Let's be positive and say I'm gonna improve on my last effort. So I've made up some white paint in this squeegee bottle. And it is actually just white water-based gloss house paint. I've used gloss because that's what I have here. Oh, oh, scooting out all over the place. So I just thought, oh, well, I'm going to make it up in the bottle. Um, so I can just, I haven't made it up in bottles actually for a long time. I used to when I first started acrylic pouring. But then it just got too much of a chore, thinking, oh, I've got to make all the paints, so put them in bottles, do this, do that. It was just another job, and I, it's not the part that I enjoyed, so I um, didn't, haven't done it for a long time, but I just thought I'm going to make that white, because it was house paint, and it's already going weird. What's going on here? I added Floetrol to the house paint because it was really thick, and the previous canvas that I tried it um, just all dry, it was drying before I could do anything with it, it was curdling, so it might be just the paint because my husband's had it sitting there a while, so I might be in for another disaster, I seem to have had all disasters today, but anyway, anyhow, I will just plod on, um, so we're going to do a swipe, so I'll do down the centre quite nice and thickly. Now, I got the, uh, what shall I start with, the light to dark or dark to light? Okay, I'll start with the light. I've got the lovely golden wattle green. So I'm gonna do just a, oh, oh God, I'm a silly. I am not, I should just pack up and go in. I'm not, I'm not gonna leave that. I'm not having a good day today. Everything that I've tried to do, look at that, has um, just gone a wall on me. Uh, never mind. I'm going to put the black. I'm going to go the native violet purple, one of my favourites. I'm going to just do another little line just because I can and just because I love this colour so much. That's my washing machine finished. Somebody out there go and hang it out for me please. <laughs> I would rather be doing painting than washing, ironing, cooking and cleaning. I would definitely rather be painting. This is the black. 
I don't know why I've started off that third line. I've gone off track again, up high, but it's there now. So, do I add, yes, one more colour, which is this lovely, like, metallic turquoise. So I'm going to, okay, if it wants to play nicely, it doesn't seem that anything wants to play today. Um, uh, come on, come on, come on. Let's give that a bit of a wiggly line. So yeah, these products, any products that I'm using, I get them from my online supplier, which is in the drop down box, family run business in Australia. Um, happy to help family run businesses anytime I can. Probably way too much again, I always go OTT, that's the native violet again. Looks black on the canvas. But yes, as I was saying, I do like to help any of the um, family run businesses that I can. So, the find a drop down box, it will have uh, what I've used in this particular pour. Now, do I go out? Yeah, this is a navy, but I didn't have, I've used. I've actually used the Montmartre pouring paint to make my navy today, which was the Farlow, Falo, Farlo blue, a blob of black and a blob of green. And I've got this lovely navy. So that's what I'm going to pour over this monstrosity. It might not mix. I might have really stuffed up here because I'm mixing different brands. But, you know, I'm in a day of going off track, so why not? Keep, keep to the plan, Jan, which the plan is, no plan. Gus, behave yourself. So I'm gonna just drop this plastic file divider in the center. Uh, and it's already done big misses. Never mind. Maybe I should try with the spatula, which I'll do. I'm not going to stress. I've had too many uh, things go AWOL today, so I'm not worried too much about it. It's all gone AWOL, so if I have to scrape off another piece, which I've already scraped off two now, I will do. So I'm just using the paint scraper, or the paint scraper, or wall scraper, whatever you call them. So, to white with. I can put a little bit more force on this than I can do with the um, plastic file divider. going back over areas now because if I'm going to scrape it it doesn't matter because I'm not real happy with this at all but then again you never know sometimes the ones that you least think are going to work out here's my husband arrived home from his day out at the lake the waters uh, with his hovercraft that he uh, was his project that he's put together I will try and get a video of that little project and do you have a good day darling? Yep. Thumbs up. How did your hovercraft go? Just tell well, him I that. Not too late. Didn't sink it. It needs a bigger motor. It needs a bigger motor. I need a bigger boat. <laughs> needs a bigger motor. Why? Because it wouldn't carry you or? Yeah, no, it carries you, okay. Yeah? Um, I will put a little video on or a little few photos of my husband's uh, little project that he had, his hovercraft that he's built up from um, basically a wreck. And, and then he went and found another wreck in the week that was a four-man wreck, so that's, that's my hobby. He said, I'm gonna do this. Okay, well, not having much luck with this, am I? But it may, may develop. May turn beautiful, got to feel positive. 
not at the present time, but I might just hit it with a bit of heat. But I found with these boom gel stains that the heat doesn't really react anyway. It doesn't make it react. Um, oh. <laughs> okay, I'm a liar. Look at that. <laughs> Starry night. Starry night. Not really. I don't want to add too much heat to that, but I suppose use my little silicone brush see if that makes any difference probably not oh looks that's a nice kind of effect on it I must admit it's just a little silicone brush that you can get from most homewares it's been I've used this for swipes in uh, quite a few of my videos just gives a different effect um, yeah, well, not much happening with that. Not much. Not. It's gonna be another, another fail. Another fail. I'm, I'm just having one of those days where nothing is working out. Dog's barking because it wants to go with his dad. Hey, cut it out. Naughty kid. Naughty kid. Hey. Um, so, okay, plan B. Hey, Gus. No. What do I do? Try and blow it with a straw. See if I can get. Gus. like a paint bomb has hit it I'm really not having a day today so you know after this many failures I've just got to pack up for today because if nothing's working out that I try so I just get the trusty little balloon that's filled with water out see if I can salvage this paint but I actually think what is stuffing my paint my work up today is using this particular house paint Hey, no, this particular house paint because it's been around a while and actually these little balloon kisses, kisses, balloon kiss down the centre, sort of, <laughs> what are you talking, hey Gus, you're talking, you want to be on camera talking too. He just wants to go with his dad, but his dad's gone in the car down the, down the block to the neighbours. So, sorry, sorry little mate, you're here with me, doing disastrous painting. Hey. Oh, no. The balloon just might save it. I'm going to keep the balloon to just stand the centre. The colours coming through are beautiful now. That's could balloon dip the side of my canvas. That gives a really nice effect on the side of your canvas if you balloon dip it with the leftover residual paint to just um yeah it's kind of um I won't actually scrape this one. The first one today I haven't scraped because I've just not have been happy, but I think this may very well dry better than what I believe. <laughs> Are you talking? Okay, the dog wants to get in on the um, action too. So I will just balloon dip down the side. If you've got a dog now and is hearing my dog, I'm sure you're getting some reaction back because when my dogs hear another dog on a show, they always react. <laughs> okay, Gus, your voice has been heard. 
your voice has been heard. You know, I'm not happy with that. It could have been obviously far nicer. Shh. Hey, hey, hey. You are carrying on like a pork chop. Hey, good boy. Well, certainly not my finest hour for sure, but I'll give you my good with my bad and um, I'll allow it to dry a little bit. I'll come out and take some photos when it's dry and then I'll put those on the end of my video and see. I mean, I'm sure you've got lots of ideas of what I could have could and could not have done. It actually, with the balloon dips down the center, it, it kind of does look you know, like a night garden, the stars out. If you've got a good imagination, it could look beautiful. So, a bit disappointed with my work today. It's turned out to pretty not good because I've tried all different things today, experiments, and they've not gone to plan, Jan. Okay, thank you guys for joining me. If it's your first time joining me, please look at my other videos. They're not usually as unsuccessful as this one. Um, thanks for subscribing, guys. You've been so kind. And please hit the subscribe button and hit the notification button. It doesn't cost you anything. And it just lets you know when I put another video out. Hopefully, the next one will be sensational. But, uh, yeah, let me know what you think about that. They are really good paints when you use them in the way which the manufacturer tells you to use them. But of course, I was trying to step it up and try a whole different um, take on them. So thanks for joining me until next time. Bye. Bye, Gus. Say bye. Say bye. Bye, Gus. <laughs> okay.